now we come to the section on vowels. From the alphabet, you'll have seen these already. A, E, I, O, U. And now I have to tell you that we're going to change these slightly. We need to make them as short as possible so we can write as quickly as possible. If you look at the A vowel, we form that with two actions, one going up, one going down. The most common one used is the one coming down. The E vowel, that's formed by a stroke to come down and a stroke going across. But the common one is the one coming down. The I vowel, we're coming down, then back up, so we have two strokes, and they're probably similarly used, but maybe the one that comes down. Just keep that nice and clear. The O vowel, we're just going to use half of the O, and the U vowel, the short vowel for this one, is just at the side. Now the books all call these vowel indicators. Complicated name, it's much easier to think of them as the short vowel and then you'll remember what they are. I've just put some words up here so you can see how they're used and the difference the angle will make. So, say, I'm not pronouncing that Y, it's S, strong A sound, S, A. C, I'm pronouncing the E, but I only need one E, S, E. And here we have two silent letters, so let's get rid of those straight away. Psi, I'm only pronouncing S and I. So it's S and I. And so, need to keep this small now, the letter for the vowel, S-O. So you can see the difference the angle makes to those words. And Sue, be nice to write my name, not pronouncing the E at the end, just S and U. So there's the S inside the U. Because it's a capital, we'll put two dashes underneath. Now, just to help you to remember these angles of the vowel, just think of the clock. And the clock comes round in that direction. So there's your A, then you round to the E, and then you come in further round and there's the I. It's the direction we need to remember.